Apple has announced some really cool HomeKit features that are coming to iOS 15 later this fall. Unlimited HomeKit secure video recording with iCloud Plus. You can view multiple cameras at one time on the Apple TV, package detection, and a lot more. There are 10 features, at least, that are still missing from iOS 15 that would take HomeKit to the next level. Starting with number one, wallpapers still do not sync across multiple iOS devices. You can change the wallpaper of each room in your home to be a different color. There are pre-made options, but the designs won't be synced across all of your devices. So you have to manually change it on each device for each room one by one. And this is especially frustrating if you have a lot of iOS devices and multiple rooms. Number two, we still do not get any advanced automations. Amazon has way more trigger options than HomeKit, so you can create more automations with Amazon than with HomeKit. I would have liked to see Apple bring more power to the Home app, like customizable notifications, so you can tell Siri what to say after she has performed a task, or what about a automation that will run different scenes depending on whoever is at the door. So if my camera detects that my wife is home and I'm home, Siri can ask me if I've done the dishes. The wife is home. Did you do the dishes? Oh no! Now Siri Shortcuts does make up for this because it is so powerful, but I would love to just see more automations in the home app directly. Number three is that I would like Apple to give us the ability to give certain people certain access to certain rooms. So right now you can give somebody full access to the whole house to control anything that they want, to create automations and certain levels of camera access. Or the other option is that somebody will get no access at all. This is gonna be great if you have kids, if you don't want your kids to have access to certain accessories or certain rooms. Feature number four that we are still not getting, which is actually my number one request, is security modes. I use the Eufy Outdoor Cameras and I use HomeKit to view the live stream, get motion alerts, and view past recordings. And in the Eufy app, there are security modes to set either manually or automatically so, so you can only get notified of motion on specific days or times and not every time. And the perfect example of this is that whenever my wife mows the grass and I weed eat, my camera notifications go nuts and it bombards us with, with, with a ton of motion alerts. So I have to turn the notifications off in the home app and then remember to turn them back on whenever we are done or I won't be getting alerted whenever there is motion. I would also like to essentially snooze alerts for a selection of time so our phone is not blowing up with alerts. Feature number five is that I would like to be able to turn on or off the camera in the home app. Logitech has a button to turn off the live feed on the back of their camera but I want to turn off cameras directly from the app. You can do this with the Eufy app to temporarily rarely preserved battery, so I would like Apple to add this in the home app. Number six is that I would love to see more icons for HomeKit accessories. There's only a few icons that you, that you can choose from depending on the type of accessory, but I would like to see Apple give us more. Now you can use a third party app to get a ton more for smart lights, smart bulbs, and more, but these won't sync over to the home app. Number seven is HomeKit widgets. HomeKit widgets would be great to easily see the status of a device. Now you can see this in control center so why can't we add this to the home screen my guess is that it would constantly be reaching out to your home kit hub and it could take too long to update the status of some accessories or the no response message could happen more often number eight is that the home app still looks the same last year Apple added a new status option at the top of the home app but they didn't add anything else to it this year the layout of the tiles in the home app is still the same which means that you cannot mix tiles and cameras to Together. So instead of having to scroll to the very bottom to view a camera live feed, I want to put the cameras at the very top with my other devices so I can view the live feed faster. Number nine is that you still cannot change your default HomeKit hub. Apple automatically chooses your HomeKit hub and although you can disable a device from being your hub, you can't do that from the home app on any device. You have to go to the settings on the device itself and then disable that as a hub. Number 10 is that you cannot control which accessories appear on your control center. Last year with iOS 14, we got the ability to control some HomeKit devices straight from Control Center, but we still can't customize which accessories appear. You can change the favorites, but you can't choose which accessories show up in the list. What features do you wish that Apple added to iOS 15? Let me know down in the comments down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one.